A former New Jersey police chief who fought for the 9-11 act died after being hit by a car. CBS 2's Jessica Moore looks at the impact Joe Zadroga had on 9-11 survivors and their families. If there's a Mount Rushmore in the 9-11 community, he, he, he belongs on it. A hero of the 9-11 community killed in what many are calling a senseless accident. Police say 76-year-old Joe Zadroga was visiting his wife in the hospital Saturday afternoon in Pomona when a car hit him as he stood in the parking lot. We're not prepared for, you know, a tragic accident like this. Zadroga is best known for his tireless work advocating for 9-11 first responders after his 34-year-old son James, an NYPD detective on 9-11, died of respiratory disease attributed to toxic exposure from ground zero. Zadroga sat down with Mary Calvi in 2006, right after his son passed away. He knew it was dusty, but uh, you know, he didn't think he was going to get sick like he did get sick. Zadroga's death galvanized the 9-11 community to seek aid for thousands of first responders who said the debris-filled air at the site made them sick. Joe Zadroga did that. He reluctantly went to D.C., but he did it in, in, to honor James, and he did a hell of a job. And he did an amazing job, and, and God bless him. On December 22, 2010, Congress passed the James Zadroga 9-11 Health and Compensation Act. The bill's final iteration, passed in 2019, extends medical benefits to impacted first responders until the year 2092. I think Joe is proud that the bill was named after his son, and Joe had an obligation to honor his son. Joe and James are definitely together in, in some form or another. Many credit the passion and sorrow of a grieving father as the reason so many 9-11 families can now rest easy. And as he now rests in peace, Joe Zadroga's legacy will live on long after his death. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News.